Thank you for your purchase of a Pelpro stove. Please take care to use appropriate safety equipment, such as protective gloves, as stove edges can be sharp. There are four bolts holding your Pelpro PP60 stove in place on the pallet. First, loosen the two retaining bolts on the back of the stove and remove the right side panel. Second, reach in from the right side of the stove to access the pallet bolts. Using a 7 16 inch wrench, remove the bolts from each corner. Now, repeat these steps on the left side to be able to remove the stove from the pallet. Replace the side panel and proceed with the placement of your stove. After removing the box, you will need to remove the unit from the pallet. First, remove the right side panel by loosening the screws on the back. Next, remove the bolt using a 7 16 inch wrench and pull the tab from the top to remove it. Repeat these steps on the left side to be able to remove the unit from the pallet. When choosing where to place and install your Pelpro unit, take extra care to ensure it meets or exceeds all minimum clearances to combustibles. Consider the unit dimensions within the desired space and how it will be vented. Also be sure to check your manual for the specific clearances and venting and termination cap requirements. A non-combustible hearth pad is required when installing a Pelpro unit on a combustible surface. The hearth pad must extend a minimum of 6 inches on each side of the unit and its front lip must extend 6 inches beyond the unit's door glass. Keep in mind, prevailing wind direction, nearby trees, and roof profiles may all affect your ventilation. Pelpro units are designed and tested to vent two ways, vertically or horizontally through an exterior wall. Venting the unit vertically to the roof line is recommended. If you choose to vent horizontally through an exterior wall, adding at least four feet of vertical rise to any horizontal termination is strongly recommended. In the event of a power outage or unit shutdown, the vertical rise will help allow the unit to continue to draft to the outside and reduce the amount of smoke that may enter your home. Pelpro units use 3 inch or 4 inch diameter type PL exhaust vent only. A 4 inch diameter pipe can be used in all installations and is required if the venting run is greater than 15 feet in length or if the installation is more than 3,000 feet above sea level. Always plan to use a top vent adapter or T vent section when running exhaust venting. These vent adapters have easy clean covers allowing for quick removal of ash buildup. Be sure to seal all interior venting connections thoroughly with high temperature RTV silicone and always add at least 4 feet of vertical vent to any install. If you decide to run the vent inside, first locate any possible obstructions. Look closely at the joists and rafters in the ceiling and roof. Venting will need to run between these. Always be sure to never cut through joists or rafters. When you're ready, use a plumb bob to locate the center point of the hole on the ceiling. Next, cut the hole, frame the opening, and install the fire stop spacer and venting into the attic area. Then, use the plumb bob again to mark the center of the hole where the vent will exit the roof and drill a pilot hole. This hole will make cutting the exterior roof easier. Once on the roof, draw an outline of the exterior hole. Then, using the pilot hole, insert the jigsaw and cut through the roof. A fire stop spacer with a clamp to support the vent will be needed when going through the ceiling. Any venting installed into an attic or area that has insulation must use an insulation shield to keep debris from coming into contact with the venting. Refer to the installation instructions and codes for more details. If the room has a ceiling that is open, or has no joists or rafters to support venting, use a roof or cathedral support box, a box cut to the angle of the roof and fitted to support the vent with a clamp. To ensure proper venting and prevent smoke and odor from entering the room during a unit shutdown, a minimum of 4 feet or 60 inches of vertical pellet vent is recommended. This length includes both the interior and exterior run. A T or clean-out adapter for removal of ash from the exhaust system must also be installed. 
To install the optional 200 pound hopper extension onto the PP130, first remove the two screws from the hopper lid. Remove the lid from the top of the unit and then remove both lower side panels. Once the lower side panels are removed, install the metal brackets on the outside of the unit. Place the hopper extension on top of the unit and snap into place. Next attach the hopper lid to the top of the hopper. After installing the hopper extension and lid, reattach the left and right side larger bottom panels on the unit first. Don't hesitate to visit PellProStoves.com for additional resources or contact PellPro Consumer Care by phone at 877-427-3316. Please have your model and serial number ready.